Hey, what's going on guys? e Bibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So, we are working on adding some light under these cabinets. So, uh, let's get started, y'all. e Bibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So, we are in the kitchen today and we are going to be adding in some lighting under the cabinet because as you can see, we have plenty of natural light coming into the living room in this open space, but there's a lot of darknesses under our cabinet. So uh, that's one of the features that that Mrs. Remote Life wants. So we're gonna make it happen because that's all it is about living in remote life is doing the things you love and loving what you do. So uh, let's get started, y'all. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a drill, a screwdriver, uh, a spade bit to cut your holes, some tape, and some measuring tape. It's all laid out right here, uh, as you can see. Uh, also, you want to have like a little towel or something because once you start chipping away at your cabinets, you want to be able to catch all that dirt. Just keep your space clean as possible. So, um, and here's a cool tip. So after you clear your space and you uh, have everything laid out, Go ahead and plot your lights. So you want to have the, the right orientation. So you either want to have your light bouncing off the wall because what we're going to do, since we're in the middle of a, a minor refresh around the house, uh, I'm going to be adding some backsplashes later. So we want to accentuate the backsplashes by basically lighting them up. Uh, so that way you can see once you come in to the room or to the space that you've got some backsplashes up and it looks nice. So, um, we're going to orientate our lights to face the wall. Some people like to flip it the other way to face the cabinets or not necessarily face the cabinets, but light up the countertops more. Uh, we're going to bounce our light off the wall. So this is the way we're going to orientate our lights. And then the easiest thing, here's a pro tip. Lay all your lights out because you want to make sure you can map out your wiring back to your power source. So our power source is actually above the microwave here in the cabinets up here. So we have uh, two plugs and one plug is using the microwave and we also have a free plug. So with us having a smart home, with this being a smart home, uh, we're actually gonna use this Amazon plug, smart plug, so we can always just tell Alexa to turn on the cabinet lights or we can just do it from our phone. Uh, but if we find that to be a bit cumbersome, who does that when you can just talk to your lights? But some people like to have a light switch. So what we can do is we can take out one of the outlets, the various outlets we have under the cabinets and put in a light switch and then wire it up there, hardwire it there. But I'm not gonna do that. My pop's electrician, I'll probably get him to do it if we went that route. But we're gonna stick with the smart home route because we can just talk to our lights and just say, turn them on and off. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna go with this single smart plug uh, above the the microwave and occupy that that open outlet and have an easy install so once you orientate your lights and you lay all your lights out one thing i did notice you cannot go from a shorter light to a longer light on the power source strip at least with this kit you can't um, what i found out is as i as you can see here as i extended these lights out i was gonna go with a 24 a 12 12 and then another 24 because my cabinets are, my boxes are 30 inches wide. <clears throat> so what I end up having to do is because coming off of the, the second 12, I had to add another 12 because the power wouldn't support adding another 24. So on this side, we're gonna do two 24s. On this side, we're gonna do a 24, 12, 12, and 12. It looks good. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, I did like a little mock-up and held, held it up and made sure that the missus is happy about it and she liked it so we're going to proceed that route so what i would do is uh starting out once you map out your wiring plan so we're going to go through the through the boxes under and then up through the back of the cabinet go ahead and start drilling your holes so the first thing you want to do is spade bit and really what you want to do is you want to measure out uh, it actually tells you on the box what size bit you need here in this area but you can always just measure out the size of your bit with the connection piece to make sure that the connector will fit through the hole that you drill. Because you don't want big, huge holes in your cabinets. And you want to be a, 
as least invasive as possible. So let's get going and let's start drilling some holes. So you see we got our holes drilled. Um, we've drilled our holes, holes drilled. Yeah, great grammar. Um, <laughs> so this is actually a good time to, to clean out your cabinets. Uh, get all this together. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, we're gonna run our cable up through here. These cabinets actually move so we can actually adjust it to line up our, our cabling and then we can tack it down afterwards all right so that's why i didn't really have to drill a hole through each shelf because i'm gonna move it and run the cable through and we'll tack it down and make it make sure it's nice and neat so we just got finished vacuuming up our workspace because we're gonna need to lay down so we can line up our things right under here so we're gonna want to lay down under this cabinet and get these lights mounted All right, now we got our cables ran. Let's uh, test it out. Make sure this stuff works. We don't want that, we want daylight. There we go. Much nicer, much brighter. Check it out. And then we're gonna do the same thing over there. And then we're gonna have the two join up in the middle. And we're gonna just add a, uh, since these are non-grounded, we're just gonna add a uh, multi-plug to this smart plug that way we control both sides and uh let's get this spring program so all you want to do is plug it up open up your alexa app So we got it plugged up, up above the microwave, can hit it. And it's there. Cabin lights on, cabin lights off. Then we can say, Alexa, turn on cabinet lights. Bam, perfect. 
So that's it for uh, adding light to darkness in your home. And uh, always remember guys, love what you're doing and do what you love. It's about that remote life, y'all. We out. Alexa, turn on cabinet lights. That's not too bad, cause you know, D country, so she like to do this right here. <laughs> but it's a different color, so it won't work. Oh man.